Two breakthrough Alzheimer's drugs have been deemed safe and effective at slowing the condition, but haven't been approved for use on the NHS, but why? Drugs are called lecanemab and denanemab, and for the first time ever, they actually deal with the underlying cause of Alzheimer's, which is the buildup of these amyloid plaques that can damage the neurons. The previous drugs simply mask the symptoms, but these are antibodies that bind to that amyloid and allow the immune system to help clear it. There are some very specific requirements to be able to safely administer this though, like the patient needing an MRI scan, a lumbar puncture, and something called APOE testing, because if it's given to a patient with the wrong subtype, it can actually make things worse rather than better, and it only works for early Alzheimer's disease. The current setup in the NHS and the delays to diagnosis, that means that only one in 50 patients would be eligible, meaning that the National Institute of Clinical Excellence have said that the benefits wouldn't justify the heavy price tag of about £20,000 per year per patient. It is still available privately though, and there are more than 20 similar drugs still in research, so there's only a matter of time where one will be approved that is cost effective.